morning. Hello, beautiful. Did you have a nice sleep? Good morning, sleepyheads. Good morning. Good morning, iFam. How are you all doing today? It is Saturday, the weekend. You kind of lose track of days on holiday and every day kind of just feels like a weekend day. So I completely lose track, but it's Saturday today and we are all up out and early because we are going to pick grandpa and granny up to go to the park that we're going to today. Chris has just gone down to reception to upload the vlog for you guys. I know he explained, I think on our second day here, something like that, that these walls inside Disney hotel rooms are built to withstand hurricanes and all the scary weather that can happen over in America. So they're all like really thick walled or something like that and signal for Wi-Fi and things like that are not great at getting through. So it's way too slow to upload our vlogs in our room. He's just gone down to the reception area where it's a bit better to upload it for you guys. So I've just woken up, got ready. The girls, I had the best trick ever to get the girls ready, dressed and quick this morning. They were ready and completely ready to leave the house from being in bed within about 10 minutes. And that was, if you get ready quickly, I'll let you play on the park on your own for 10 minutes. Now, I never let the girls go to parks or places out in public on their own because it makes me so nervous that a big scary man's going to take them away. It's ridiculous, I know, but I'm sure some mums can relate. <laughs> Isabel's 12 and yesterday at the water park, she said, can I, she met some iFam who she was hanging around with and she said, can I go on the slides just there? And I was like, okay, she's 12, I've got to, got to give her some space. Anyway, the girls have just run down and they're so excited. I was like, girls, you know, I'm ready. I could come down and we can just, she's like, no, you said we can go on our own. So I'm just sat here at the window waiting for them to appear. This room is so much nicer than the Lion King. Not that there was anything wrong with the Lion King. It just felt a little bit dark just because of the theming. But this one's so bright and airy and I've got a giant fish literally right outside my window. So here's the little park I was trying to show you guys last night and the girls that have caught me, caught me spying on them. <laughs> Look at this play park we have right outside our room. It's so cool. <laughs> As and I are clearly very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. It makes me so sad that they're growing up so fast. And one day, they'll all be too big for slides. Like Isabel almost is right now. <laughs> Walking down it, bless her. <laughs> Whee! Go on, Ayla. Ooh. Oh, she needs to put her dress under her bottom. <laughs> is that fun, Izzy? Yeah, well, I can actually do any of the slides. Because <laughs> you're 12 and you're a little bit too I'm big. A little bit big. But I got to, um, watch the girls, not so much. Good girl. So cute. Look how good this theming is of this hotel. It's so cool. Come on, girlies. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, was it a good little park? Yeah. Good. Did you have fun, Esme? Yeah. Hi, hey, honey. It's Grover, hi, Grover. Hi, Cookie. I love cooking. I so, know. Man. Oh, I used to love me a bit of Cookie Monster when I was younger. Good morning, guys. Welcome to what day is it today? Saturday, Saturday the something of October. <laughs> anyway guys, good morning from me. You join us this morning at a very, very sunny and very hot SeaWorld. We're at SeaWorld today. We got free entry to SeaWorld when we went to Discovery Cove the other day, so we thought we'd come over and check out what it's all about. There's quite a lot of controversy about this park and whether people like agree with it, whether they think it should be open, whether they don't. And we're being open-minded today. We're just going to do the big roller coasters and there's some trick or treat in here for little girls as well. Yeah, so today, we're going to do that. today is the last day of the spooktacular before Halloween. So every weekend they do like a trick or treat thing here in the park. So the girls are really, really excited about doing that. We're going to do some nice trick or treating and see what happens. Anyways, right now we're about to go get ourselves some trick or treat bags and go around a nice maze and go get some nice and go get some nice candy, right? Let's get some trick or treat bags on. Go get it, Lila. <laughs> I want some M and M's. <laughs> 
Go gals. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and Granny as well. What was that, babe? A second helping on the M&M's aisle? No. <laughs> this is actually super cute. You get little bags, like you saw, like Isabel's here. And you get to go around the whole of the lake. Yeah, the lake, or I don't know. I'm calling it a lake. Never, never done this before, done, so it's never super done, cool. Like, here at Halloween. Mama, yeah. It's full of healthy things. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> healthy sorry. things. Whoa, what have no, you got, I girls? I actually did just say. I think I've got enough now because don't forget about my teeth. That's very good, Isla. Very clever girl. Mustn't forget about our teeth. Anyway, it's really cute. You get to go around loads of different trick or treat stations, like you'd see at Mickey's Not So Scary. Obviously, you know, not the same, but you know, that kind of sort of thing. They fill your bags with sweets, and then you go off to the next station. You can go on the stations as many times as you want. So we just finished with the trick or treat stations, or I think we have, because according to Isla, we've got enough now. We don't need to go to any more. <laughs> so we've come to sit down and have a drink because it's so hot today. It's probably the hottest day we've had since we arrived. Anyway, whilst the girls are playing in this humongous, ginormous, soft play area, I thought I would do you a little American trick or treat candy haul because it's a lot different to what we'd get in the UK. In the UK, you'd maybe get like miniature Mars bars, miniature, what else? Miniature Skittles and things like that. Okay, guys, so here's what you get for a trick or treat. American candy haul here in the States. So first off, Junior Mints. Now we don't get these in the UK, but last time we came here for the Halloween Mickey Scary Party, I remember getting these and loving them. They're like soft scented mints and they taste yummy. The kind the guy kinda gave me five boxes of those when he heard me say how delicious they were. We've also got these natural mixed fruit snacks, yummy yummy, called Welch. Welch. Esme and I, Isabel's favourite, we got five bags of these and the girls got eight each. They're going to melt, that's why they were handing out so many. So it's Oreo cookie bars and you get two, as you can see they're king size, you get two in a pack. And they're really quite big, they're full size chocolate bars. They're like, a bit like dairy milk at home, you can get dairy milk with Oreo. What else? Okay, we got some of these Land of the Gummies, Land of the Gummies, little gummy bears. Miniature packs of M&M's. We got a couple of packs of those. Sunlight fruit and go. Apple, raspberry with other natural flavors. Fruit bar. We also got some of these Smarties, which make me laugh so much because I know that Smarties are different here in the US, in England, and in Australia. So Smarties here in the US are kind of like, is it called fizzers at home? Fizzes, fizzers, like hard candies. We also got Twizzlers, which are an American classic, I think. And we got these, which I've never heard of before, but they are delicious. Vanilla flavored and cow's tail. Chewy caramel with a creamy center. Oh my goodness, nobody in the party likes these except me. So I kindly offered to um, let everyone put theirs in my mouth. Oh, and then finally, we got some airheads. I don't know what these are. I think they're a little bit like Mawams, maybe. They look like they might be like Mawams. And that's it. Right, guys it's about to get serious now all of these guys have been peer pressuring me all morning no. to not be a wimp and go on the big rides here today because that's why we're here for the big rides and so I said okay I'll be a big man I'll do all these big rides thinking secret that the queue times will be so long that no one will really want to go on them or you know you know much any thought anyway turns out the queue <laughs> is only 15 minutes long How you doing it? on Mako so I'm going to have to man up and get this done. You're stalling so the ride time goes higher. Come on. Right, come on then. Let's do this. Where's my bag? Okay. Alright guys, wish me luck. Look how high this ride goes up before you go down. Like, this is filmed on a GoPro so it looks even further away but that is very high up before we go down. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't like you guys anymore. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. I was, no joke, I was literally on the verge of a panic attack getting on that. So I'm so glad I did it, it was incredible. In fact, I'm so glad I did it, I'm going in again right now. I told you something, like I was nearly crying. I was at the top and I was like, oh, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. It's amazing. It's so like Esme, like I know you love a ride, just like Esme does. And I have to try and persuade her to go on, not for like come on you love it and then when she gets on she's like I want to do it again I want to do it again because I just know seriously that ride I've never been on a roller coaster that your bum's not on the seat no, at all no, because it's the, literally weightless all yeah, time yeah it's weightless <laughs> the whole time <laughs> my feet oh right, my gosh swinging forward do you remember doing like little bumps my legs are like up here and I was like that was so fun yeah. and there's no weight so let's go around and do it again before we see granny and grandpa yeah I'm just absolutely gutted that we couldn't film on board the ride I tried but I got copped <laughs> I mean, I didn't try. I had my you GoPro there, obviously, the and the, I didn't hide it. No, I had it there in my hand when we were setting off, and the guy was like, "Yo, you can't take that on the ride." So I was like, "Okay, no worries." But I wish I could have captured my face because y'all would have laughed for at least five hours after you've watched this vlog. <laughs> Got some nice front row action going on this time. Woohoo! Yo, babe, babe, I just want to say. Thank you for peer pressuring me into that ride. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm it was so, so glad good. you did it because I knew, like, me and Chris used to go on all the roller coasters together like 11 years ago when we were first dating. And I didn't know this at the time, but you don't like roller coasters really. No, I've just been a hard man. He was just doing it to impress me. Oh my gosh, I've got my hair. He was just doing it to impress me. But since then, 11 years ago, we barely rode any roller coasters together. It's just me and Isabel, which is great. And I love that Isabel's a roller coaster. Obviously, because I have to look after to the girls, you know, when Sarah's on them or whatever, you know. No, That's basically how it's worked. No, yeah. no. Yeah. There's been plenty of times where we've been with Granny and Grandpa and you've still not come on them. <laughs> but I'm so glad you did that one because it was really fun riding it with you and Isabel. It's not that I don't like roller coasters, I just don't like the spinny, spinny type stuff. So yeah, it makes me way. feel rubbish. Or like sometimes I get like motion sick in my head when I go on like a really heavy, yeah. very heavy G like roller coaster. Yeah, it's not that he's scared, it's just he doesn't like how it makes him feel. Anyway, anyway. I'm glad we rode it together. That was banging. Give us a kiss. Anyway, if you guys, if I could have filmed myself on that ride, we sat on the front row, it was insane, the G-Force on it. And if I could have filmed it, my entire hair of head, up 10 foot off my head, like off the G-Force, you would have laughed your heads off. I wish I could have filmed it. <laughs> really fun rides today at SeaWorld. We have decided to leave that park and head out for some dinner. Last time we were here in America on our honeymoon, we I'd researched a restaurant called Hash House A Go Go. And I don't know why, I don't know if we ran out of time, but I seem to remember we couldn't find it. And the one that we did research and put into our sat nav was in a housing estate quite far away. So we decided not to bother eating there and we were both really disappointed because it looked really good. Chris just said, should we try and see where it is? Because we left SeaWorld a bit, a bit earlier and we've got loads of time to eat tonight. We've dropped Chris's mum and dad off because they were both feeling quite tired. They've had a busy few days. Anyway, we put the Hash House A Go Go into the sat-nav and it's literally on iDrive. Are we on iDrive? It's literally like two minutes away. I know you bought Mermaid Tail, isn't it? It's literally like not even far away. So we've come here today and I'm very excited because We've been wanting to try it out for so long. As you can probably see by the ground and the girls, it's raining and it's been raining for about an hour and it's not due to stop raining until a lot later on, a few hours. So tonight's plan was to go to Disney Old Town. They have like a classic car show on. It's all, it's all I can't cope. <laughs> A classic cash on so we were going to do that this evening however if it's still raining when we come out we probably won't we'll probably make a new plan in fact the girls have been wanting to do what Isabel has been wanting to do for her own channel a Halloween challenge I'll explain afterwards if we decide to go and do it anyway guys check out this place it looks so cute it looks like a proper grotto proper grotto a little American anyway it's raining let's get <laughs> let's get inside
Like, where am I even meant to start with a burger this big? I mean, you guys probably can't tell at all right now, but that burger is at least the size of my head. Like, it is massive. It's a lot of cow. <laughs> and it was the big taste bigger than that size. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> A full cow, it looks like that boo boo, doesn't it? It's very big. So, our food just arrived. O M G. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. Look at the state on this burger. I've got a child's mac and cheese, and I swear that's an adult sized portion. I wish I got Isabelle's. And then, do you want to show Isabelle? I've just tried Isabelle's. I've literally just went on Right, this is Dad's reaction. Let me have a taste of yours, Isabelle. <laughs> Isabel's got the pen pasta with sage, sage chicken. chicken. But it, oh my, look at that for a presentation. That is an A star. I've got a massive knife in the top. There's so much food there, Isabel. You're never going to eat that, girl. I'm looking forward to your leftovers, babe. So, after the most delicious but way too much meal. We are now in Walmart and we're about to do a super duper fun family Halloween challenge. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. Right guys, we're going on teams. So, Isabel is going with the dad. Me, me, <laughs> I'm having Esme and Isla on my team. And what we have to do on this challenge how, what's the budget? She has $20, $20 each. $20. A maximum of $20 each to buy anything Halloween-y. And then we're going to keep it hidden from each other's teams. And then we're going to, Isabel's going to film a haul on her channel with her team. And I'm going to film a haul on iPhone Extras with my team and show you guys everything we bought in the haul. Then you guys get to vote and see who you think won, which team was the best. Which got the more value? Which got the best Halloween items? They were super lovely. So yeah, so we're going to vlog items we might buy, but we're not going to show you guys what we actually buy. We girls have to keep it a secret from Daddy and Isabel. Yeah. And then they have to keep it. Yeah, we do. And we, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And we'll show you guys on our each channels. And then you guys get to decide who did best. Who's going to win? <laughs> uh, who's the sassy shopper? Me. Okay. Are you ready, guys? Let's do it. You go that way, we'll go this way. Right, guys, so me and Dad are on the hunt to go find the Halloween section. I'm super duper excited for this challenge. It's going to be amazing balls, and we have got to win. Okay, so we've just left Mum. We've got 15 minutes to go find 20 bucks worth of Halloween gear, and we can't even find the Halloween aisle. Come on, babe. We've got our job cut out for us right now. Okay, I think we found the Halloween aisle. So I'm thinking first comes first, let's get some Halloween sweet treats. What are these? Some pumpkin Reese's. Ooh, daddy. Some pumpkin Reese's. Mm, $2.68 there for that small bag. Let's see if we can find a bigger bag. So I think I definitely chose the wrong team. We've somehow ended up on the toy aisle. We've got a 15 minute time limit. And all these girls are interested in is looking at dollies. We got a 15 minute time limit and I have no idea where the Halloween section is in Walmart. <gasps> oh, clothes! You guys could get an outfit. They're only $5. I need this one. For Halloween, baby. Mummy. Mummy. Oh. Can we get it for Halloween? That is so cute. Okay, what have you found, girls? We found these glow sticks. Glow sticks? Yeah. <gasps> I just saw someone sneak it. I can see someone running. Them little. I just saw them. I definitely saw them then as girls. Did you see them? I've got no idea. Let's go spy. Go on, go. Go, Isla. Let's go to Stop following them, man. You're trying to steal our ideas. You're not getting my ideas, Okay, we've spent almost, we've spent $15 five to go. I think we know what our last item's gonna be as well, so we're just running across the whole other side of Walmart. Look how far we have to run, literally, like, boom. All, all the way back to the back of the store. Without mum seeing us, because she's seeing us everywhere, literally. We keep catching her on aisles, and she's like, what are you buying? And I'm like, get back, fool. Okay, me and Isabel are done. 
We've got all our bags. Oh, it's raining. I'm not going to show you what we've got. Oh man, it's really bags. raining. Okay, now Sarah's not seen us, so we're going to literally run back to the car, dump our stuff in the car, come back in here, meet her. Right, Are you ready to run? Wait, so. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pow, 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 pow. We actually overspent by one dollar, but we won't be telling Sarah that unless she absolutely definitely finds out. <laughs> look at my hair right now guys that's insane we just got back to the room and we are about to jump in the shower and get into a bed it's around 11 p.m. Isla's writing her little note to her look how greasy I look Isla's writing her little note to her mouse keeping and then we're going to make beds have showers and get into bed because we've got an early start tomorrow not that we have anything booked in the parks early but we want to get up and film this challenge the finale of the challenge. It was so much fun doing that. We were saying in the car on the way home, it'd be great to do like a Target Christmas one. But we'll see how you guys like this one to start with. And if you like it, then we can work on doing another one. Anyway, we've got our stash sneaked away in this bedroom. And Isabel's gone to sneak away hers and Chris's. Chris and Esme are just downstairs filling up our refillable drinks mugs with hot chocolate for bed. And it's been a super fun day today really fun tomorrow we're going to magic kingdom which i'm really excited about and we have a special lunch booked at be our guest which I'm so is excited are you excited for that sweetheart it's our first one. it is our first one it's a special lunch in the beast's castle and it's meant to be amazing i don't know because i've never been before but it's meant to be amazing so i can't wait for that I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog chris and daddy are just back if you did give it a oh my gosh did i say that again why do i keep saying that like my mind's gone completely abnormal tonight. Yeah. We are so excited. I don't think I've mentioned it on the vlog, but we hit 100,000 100, followers on Instagram, which just makes me so happy. Thank you all so much for following us. It's so amazing being able to share our pictures and our adventures with you all. Anyway, I'm wittering on. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Give it a big, big, big thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you all again tomorrow at 6 p.m. And don't forget to check out iPhone extras to see what me, Esme and Isla bought and Sassy Bell to see what Chris and Isabel bought and then comment on who you think won. See you all tomorrow. Good night.